name is Lizzie. I'm going to show you how to fold your very own virus. This is obviously using origami and it's going to be hopefully a relaxing and fun activity but you'll also be learning some science at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to make one of your very own and hopefully you may be able to print out a sheet. It doesn't matter if you can't, I will explain how to do this, but this is the correct sheet. So fold a virus. So I've started colouring in these pictures. Now viruses, uh, you may have seen some pictures of them, they can often look quite spiky and it's these spikes that allow them to attach to a cell what your body's made of and to enter and to go inside and that's how they're transmitted so um yeah we're, we're gonna just think about these lovely spikes and that's what we're gonna make it also looks like a beautiful star it's not clear who's designed this piece of origami but it's very beautiful and no glue involved just folding so if you can print out that sheet maybe color this in i've actually drawn um what's the coronavirus spike, SARS-CoV-2 spike, what it looks like. So it's based on the science there and maybe you can colour them in and we're going to fold them up. So you actually need to print out this sheet twice. We need 16 little squares. So I'm going to show you by cutting out a couple and show you how to fold them. Now if you don't have this sheet, if you haven't got a printer, that's fine. I will show you how to do that out of A4 paper. So if you grab yourself something to press on, um, I am going to first of all show you with cutting out just a couple of squares and then I'll show you how you can do this if you haven't got um, if you haven't got a printer so what you'll need is 16 little squares and actually viruses are a lot like origami because they they will often have just a small number of proteins it's the things that viruses are made of and your, much of your body is made of and it's the way they fold up that gives them the shape and so it really can look like a little piece of origami very beautiful you wouldn't think no virus is a beautiful thing but they often are lovely patterns so i've got a couple here now if you haven't what i would want to do is cut out 16 so having printed two sheets now if you haven't got a printer this is how to do it so i will just briefly show you a piece of a4 paper you're going to need two pieces of a4 paper and to do this simply fold it in half um, be nice and exact origami is also engineering paper engineering is both science and an art really um, and these are like little pieces of architecture too. So I've just folded it in half. I am then going to open it up. If you've done a good strong fold, then you can do a little tiny nick there. Put your hand nice and close to the edge. You can tear it. So I'm going to show you how to do this without any scissors, any printing. And I'm going to make a square. So I'm simply taking a corner, lining it up nicely. It's all nice and lined up through that corner. Take your time. And origami is a really good way of relaxing too. So I've been doing lots of origami in lockdown. Maybe you'll join me. And we'll remove this rectangle. So bringing it back, lining it up. There we go. Good strong folds means you can easily tear. So a little nick again there. And you should then be able to tear that off. That's great. So out of your A4 paper, you can make two squares. And obviously you need two pieces of A4 paper. So you'll end up with four squares. And for each square, simply dividing into quarters. So here I am just, just going to briefly show you. And then I will show you how to get folding the little spikes. And it's rather interesting because origami, in a way, it's passed from one person to another. So this has been designed and invented by somebody. But I don't really know who has designed it. It's been transmitted so well. Oh. There we go. So obviously you can make your 16 that way. So that's, that's if you haven't got a printer. 
okay I'm going to go back to the ones that I've been colouring in because I think it'll be rather nice to use those okay so this is how to fold your spike so with your coloured piece I'm going to fold it in half so my piece I'm just folding it in half lining it up nicely like so there we go and next I'm opening up so the colours on the back there and I'm going to take the corner and bring it down to the middle quite small isn't it there we go if you've ever made a, a fortune teller or a um, yeah this is the same kind of thing that corner bring it to the middle it's quite pleasing I think being very neat and tidy can be very relaxing for us and uh, when you're concentrating on this you're not thinking about anything else there we go so it's come together nicely looks rather lovely and next I'm going to take the side and I'm going to fold it into the middle so taking the side and I'm folding it to that middle line like so and I'll show you in a moment a second one so you've had a little bit of practice together and then this side bring it up to the middle so so that they meet so it looks a little bit like a little kite there we go so it's looking like that so next take this top bit and simply fold it back so it's up here folding it back make sure it's kind of nice and lined up in the middle so this lines up there we go squashing it down we're almost there already so our next step is to take it as it is there and we're going to fold it back there we go that is your spike and folding it down there we're going to make a second one and i will show you then how they fit together and then it's your task to just continue and it will build up to a full star there we go so can you see there's a little pockets in there we're going to use those in a minute but let's make another one and this will give you practice so again your little square one of 16 folding it in half exact i recommend doing it on a solid surface is the best way to do it there we go i'm gonna have to do that myself too there we go opening it up and taking the corner and bringing it to the middle there we go i'm hoping this viruses and vaccines resource will be a chance for you to discover to learn to get creative to have a bit of fun to make sense of this strange time and also the hope that science brings there we go and strangely that viruses are beautiful but actually it's that fascination scientists have that have brought us the hope of making vaccines to protect us it's like an envelope now doesn't it bring it to the middle there we go and again we're going to take a side and bring it to that middle line so i'm simply folding it along that line again i recommend doing it on the surface would probably be best there we go and again this lower line bringing it to the middle we're going to see what i'm doing as well was a tricky one doing it to camera there we go like so and next again this top folding it back and if we go to the back of this you'll see you can then fold it back like so again revealing those little pockets on the outside which will all be useful there we go so we now have two spikes how do they go together we will find out so make sure you've got them the same way round and we're going to take these little two little prongs and we're going to stick them into these two little pockets so one will fit into the other 
and you can push it in now can you see there's just that little bit of an angle that little bit of a turn and if you keep going with making your spikes a full circle will be 16 and they will come together now at the moment it's not quite like a real virus because if you were to give this virus to somebody else they wouldn't have a clue how to make more so actually your viruses of well a virus also needs some kind of genetic material the stuff inside that are instructions to make the spikes so your next activity if you'd like to make this more like a virus that you could give to somebody else and then they would make more viruses then you would need to take the instructions to make these spikes and you could make it into something like DNA so DNA um, is, is the instructions RNA is quite similar but these this is your next activity that you can do so you can join me with the next uh, next film thank you